G'day! So now in 2021, it's time for me to step up a bit more in my YouTube content quality because you know what? I was looking at this analytics and potentially a chance that I could get monetization this year. So with that, I thought, what else do I need to improve my content and my channel? So I thought, thinking over it overall, I think I needed a webcam or a camera uh, for like, you know, face cam and, uh, you know, stuff like that. I think it will help with uh, stuff like my editing stuff and I wanted to do uh, some other videos this year which will help with like face cam and other little uh, stuff that I would like to, uh, videos I like to do this year as well. So after some research I thought, you know, there was a couple there that are 300 200 dollar quality up there as well. I didn't really necessarily want something like that, something in a nice mid-range with, you know, good enough quality that would work. I decided to get the Logitech C922 Pro HD Stream 1 here. I'm gonna go ahead in the video and just do like a little unboxing, not really major, just unbox it and setting it up. And then also into uh, the Logitech software, because I think it comes with the software. So set it up in that, just check it out how it is. And then I'll set it up in OBS, which is the software I use uh, for my recording, uh, screen recordings and stuff as well which are, uh, yeah, a lot of um, creators out there uh, use. I think it's also important to point out, I recorded this just after work on a Sunday, so uh, yeah, I'm not really in it as I am now, because this is post-recording that. So yeah, I got it on the Sunday, I unboxed it, because I'm a bit impatient, and I just wanted to get it out there, and yeah, test it out, and yeah, make a little video out on it. So I apologize if I'm just a little, little out of it, a little less energetic. And yeah, I do look a little tired just just watching it. But I think it's uh, I think it's not bad overall. So yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and that set it up in the Logitech um, in the Logitech software, and then in the OBS, and then uh, yeah, I give a little review reaction to how that all went. Okay, so this is my little unboxing here. Got the um, just got it just now in the mail. Now you're actually not going to see me unbox the full thing because I need to hold up the camera because the tripod for this, put it this way, it's, uh, it's the small desk one, so it's just, yeah, like that. Okay, so, just open it up and it's just right there. Ain't you? Wow, goodness me, yeah, this is uh, surprisingly bigger than what I thought. I didn't even realize I got the one with the tripod because um, there was one I saw with the tripod but I actually didn't know it was this one as well. Yeah, not gonna lie, this is uh, this is a little cute. Put it there, maybe maybe here. Ooh, not too shabby there looking, very nice. I can try and just set it up on the, on the screen again, I guess. Yeah, yeah, uh, right, let's take a look at that. Works good. Oh, that's nice and solid. Very nice, that's very good, very nice. One, unclamp, two, clamp it to the tripod, and three, plug it into the computer. Okay, so I'm just uh, set it up there, and I'm going to plug it into the PC, and then, uh, yeah, after that, I'm going to try and uh, figure out how to learn and just put it into perspective in front of the OBS studio. All right, here we go. So I'm in the Logitech Capture uh, software, actually, so I'm just having a look over here. So we've got the source and the frame rate, we've got some zoom here, so first time using that. I've got to say, just looking at this, it's, um... So looking at it already, it's just, uh, like, you can tell it's pixelated, but, I, you know, webcams are not necessarily for, like, very big screen like this. It's just the, like, a little square box majority of the time. And uh, let's take a look, though, what we have here. So I did a little quick browse before, quickly, so... What's this image settings? I've got the such sharpness. Oh wow! So much there. Is that one thirty? Uh, just ignore this chair here as well. This is for my cat when <laughs> when he sits there. So right. Oh. Why is it? Oh, it's much more smoother. Why was it? So priority, exposure, priority, oh, that's what it is, exposure, so the frame rate, so it does look much better, much better now, well this is just mainly focused on exposure, I see, so it actually does need uh, some more brightness then, ooh, nah, let's, uh, any flicker, I don't know what that is, in advanced settings, horizontal flip source, 
Ah, and vertical, it would be. I got source two, so I'm gonna leave that so I don't have that recorded. Watermark. Can you change the watermark? Does it have to have the text overlay? Okay, so this will be good. It's a hello test. Duration forever. Oh, it has the ah duration. Oh, no, it's gone. So hello test. Hello. So that can be good for. Okay, we've got styles here as well. Or is it just one style? Just the one style. Okay. I'm at background black. Ah. Hello test. Scene effects. What do we got here? So I want to get rid of that scene effects. What do we have? What's this? Unlock extra effects. No, I don't. No. No, thank you. I can't see. Border. Let's see a border there. Oh, resolutions. Uh, resolution's only at 70p. Why is it at 70p? Let's go full HD. I guess it'll full HD and the uh, frame rates. If you go back here, you can see 720p and 60 frames. It was very dark. And I was saying, default microphone, I'm not going to touch that because I've got my Logitech, which. Um, and default. Alright, let's go back to source here. I want to look at something right so here I can oh that's the transition I see and then if you go right I opened up the the window a bit more uh, so how can I get a source source selected choose a source from the drop down oh wait source here can you find a source display can you change the display though? Okay, so it's not going to work with extent extensions because I'm recording this with this and little. Yeah, I got a little confused there for a sec. Anyway, yeah, we got the, uh, my second display there, but I'm going to turn it off to none. So that's my second one. All right, so I, I need to remember my sources then. And you can do this and do that, which is cool. I actually like this one. I don't know why you can't play with the the second source though. Like, why is it I can move me around? Oh, I can move this around though. Oh. I don't I don't understand why I can't move that around though. Okay, so now I'm in OBS and I'm just going to set up my uh, video capture with OBS now just to see how this goes. So let's see if this works. Yes, good. Okay, so now you can got this around. Don't know what, so deactivate configure. Should I configure it? Yeah, it's fine for now, it's, it's not a big deal for me. Capture audio only. Output desktop audio. This is for that. We'll see. I've got my mic set up. Hang on. Does my mic one? It should. Yeah. It it should. Yeah. So we'll, we'll just put the direct sound here and then see how we go. Yeah, it worked. Good. So, uh, we got the effect here. So, I might block that out. There. Now, I want to know how we can play around with this. Uh, so, we got the transitions. Oh, first off, yeah, let's get rid of that. Uh, can we go into this group? Yep. Alright, if I go here now, how does this look? I want to see if this uh, works out. Way I want it to go. So I'm now watching uh, my video on my second channel, the Sydney side. Go subscribe. Uh, just 
first enough test, so hopefully my face can be recorded there while I explain. Let's see. Cool, worked. My only issue at the moment is getting the right audio settings, so having the correct video audio to a mic audio, so I need to fix that. Oh, oops. Okay. Right, how about now? Right, just trying something different. It's another video here. So let's see if this works out now. Just need to get this right. All right, let's try that. How does the audio work here compared to the rest now? It's not even that, so it's not too bad. All right, that seemed to look like a bit of a more better success, which is good. Now, again, I apologize, I don't have really good lighting at the moment. Actually, it's actually pretty, actually, little bit more. You don't want to see out there. But yeah, okay, so I just need to really learn the more of the techniques with OBS and having the face cam and everything just to get it just to get it perfect. Right, you know what? So I think this is a good start. Uh yeah, look at again. Oh, Glitch there for a second. I thought uh, it coded coded overload. That's not good. Right, that's with my LED light. All right, so I got the LED light and then the other light in my room to go with it. Yeah. Okay. So I think it's progressing well, but like I'm, I'm just looking at my PC. It should be looking up there. One thing I've noticed though is the mic to that is not syncing 100% just in slow mo. Just watching it back it, it just didn't seem 100% sync which is why people then use audio on the separate software and then attach it together. I don't want to do that. But this is a good step forward for the stuff I wanted to do this year anyway. So. Oh dear, um, yeah, so <laughs> load up this software for the Logitech one took so long and uh, yeah, it just takes a couple of seconds to load up which isn't good, but one last test I wanted to do was actually test out the audio for the Logitech webcam. I don't know where the mic is actually, I should have looked that up, it's probably on top there or something, or is it on the side? Yeah. Um, yeah, because if it actually has good uh, good mic quality, I, I could be using that one too. But I do like my good old uh, Stadium mic as well. I just uh, just rewatched that previous video. The audio, the audio is terrible. Oh dear. But I don't know what I'll be doing with. Um, I don't know if I'll be using a Logitech one or the OBS. I can try and play around with it. Yeah, with stuff as well. But it's not going to be really a major thing. It's just just something all small going forward. So. Yeah, it's just a little bit of more progress. Uh, I definitely think I need one of these. Uh, yeah, my step towards more of a, you know, YouTube channel. Yeah, the setup took longer than what I expected. I, I do like these setup uh, kind of videos on my channel, like trying things out for the first time and just recording it that because people do that post kind of, it's more like the videos on how you should set it up and everything. But no, I, I like to set it up for myself, no assist and yeah, so I, I kind of got there in the end. It took a little while, but I think it's I think it's there, all ready to go. I'm excited uh, for the stuff I want to do this year, content as well, and yeah, that's uh, going to be, like I said, it's going to be different again this year. I'm going to do a couple of different videos, maybe some reaction videos, and in terms of reacting to stuff like not funny videos or fails or anything, it's going to be something with the stuff I. Um, have for my channel, so it's it's not gonna it's gonna be stuff like that. But anyway, yeah, good start, good setup, good start to 2021 so far. But yeah, that's it for now. Thank you all for watching, and uh, until next time, I'll get back to you.